Okay, let's do something hard. This is a, this is a good one. Now, making handrails is a lot of people's not favorite thing to do. So I'm going to show you that. One of the ways where you can do simple handrails like we're working on right now. I got a 2 by 4 here. And what I want to do is I want to make... There are two front ones that go here. Front ends, back ends, and the long ones. And then what I want to do with those... I want to install them on the under frame before I primer, just to make it easy. So here's how we're going to do this. You probably guess by looking at it already. Okay, now where did that first guy go? What did I do with him anyways? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, so here's the one I cut off. And here's the one I just bent, two of them, in 30 seconds. This is how I did it. I spent a little extra time just drawing it out. So now what we want to do, well first, we need some tools. We need some, we need some squares. And I think we're going to need a longer one for this, for this next one. So I think we're going to grab the long one. Alright, here's the long one. We don't have to do we don't have to uh, trace this whole thing, but we're going to sort of trace it. And we're going to leave a little extra wire at the end so we can get fancy. All right, so we're going to use these guys. Now, and when I'm done with this, I can, I can run this through the planer or sander, clean it off, and use it again. All right, so I'm going to mark a spot. Let's do it over here so I can actually use the using the ruler on it. okay so we'll say something like that and we'll go inside there outside there and the end somewhere over here okay and now I got some got some spots so let's go ahead I don't even know if this board is actually straight it might not be but we are gonna try to do this at least remember we don't have to be super accurate because we're gonna make some bends in this might do some fancy stuff and we're just gonna go right through okay then I happen to know handrails are conveniently for our benefit at 45 degree angles yes they are very convenient right okay so that's the top so we're going to be going like this, right between my two marks. Okay. Now we're going to get an intersection. About like that. Okay. There's our handrails. All right. Now what we got to do, we're going to take our poker. Okay. And we're going to put. On the line, I'm going to poke a hole. I'm going to poke inside, because I'm going to bend around it. Inside the lines. Okay, and on the line. Then I'm going to put one down here, like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take some little nails. My little... Grandpa's tack hammer. And let's put some. Poking them holes makes this a lot easier. It's like using a center punch. Poke the hole first. Or you will find out how frustrating it is to put these little brads in here. We don't have to put them all the way in. We're going to take them out later and use them. Mm -hmm. Then what you need to do is you need to hit yourself in the finger about three, four times. So you wake up. Get refocused. There. Okay. 
Now I decided we're going to use O2O brass rod on this just to make it easy. And we could use jewelry wire, but jewelry wire is super easy to bend. We want a little bit of stiffness in these. And we'll just start down here. Now I'm going to leave some extra on the end in case I decide to get fancy with these handrails, which I probably will. Now I'm just going to... I'm going to take my finger around. I'm just going to bend around it. I don't have to be perfect yet. Uh, in fact, it's not going to be perfect from doing this because we have a method of dressing it up. Okay, so now I'm going to get inside. Okay, so I'm going to get a bend here. All right. Close enough. Then I want to go in here like that and around there like that. And then around there, like that. All right, there we go. Okay, now let's trim off a little bit with my jewelry tools here. Let's trim off about, I don't know how much we should trim off there. Let's just look at the original. Okay, so we're going to trim off about like that. Okay, there it is. Now what do we do? Now we take our jewelry pliers. Like I said, we might want to get fancy with this one. So I'm going to make a nice, I'm going to grip it right where I think, and I'll get a nice pen there. And what I mean by fancy is I may want to angle, I may want to angle this out. I may want to turn that. There's a lot of things you can do, especially when you got the these little pliers and stuff. And, but we don't have to decide that right now. What we have to do now is get our nice pens in here. And all we needed was some nails to show us where to make these. Okay. Okay. All right. There's my, basically, that's my handrail. That's it. And we're going to do another one here. Then we're going to, we're going to take one. I think we'll get a little fancy with it. Okay. So let's leave some extra. I don't know if you remember those GP18s I did where I made those loops in the bottom of the handrails and they, oh man, they're just crazy handrails. Okay, let's take our wire here. Okay, now we're going to go again. I'm going to go inside. Actually, I'm going to put the bend in this one right now so it's easier to hold. But did you notice we didn't spend very much time working on that, did we? No, we did not. All right, let's see how that goes again. Yep. Okay. There. There, that's my bad. Okay. Now go back here. Go inside. Inside this guy. Outside that guy. Around that guy. There. Okay. If you're not sure, mark it with a Sharpie. If, you're, if you don't see exactly where your bend goes. But I happen to know it goes right there. Bend. Bend. I'll tell you what, this is way easier than trying to bend these by hand or tracing them on paper. It's just way, way easier. Look at that. We've got basically our handrails are roughed out. And how long has it been? Eight minutes. We spent eight minutes, and that was probably a minute looking for the ruler. Another minute kind of drawing, a few minutes drawing it out. But we spent eight minutes, and I spent another four or five minutes before that. And now I've got a set of handrails. Okay, so what all I really need to do now is I'm going to make stanchions and basically... On this one, it's really easy because the stanchions, I don't need to use the stanchion maker. If you remember, I got a stanchion maker. I lay them on here, bend them over the top, and then I run my scissors down here and cut them off. But these, these go straight down. Let's see if we can find a piece of wire here so I can show you. These here are easy because they're just going to fit right in these holes. Just like that. They're going to stay right there. Okay? Now, I'm going to have to find an alligator clip to clip onto these while I tin the ends of them. When I'm done, I'm going to shape 
the grab where this grabs on to to this and they, they look good but there it is that is that is the easiest way to make to make handrails that's just by far easier than all the other ways that we've done it before